Alright guys, it's now episode 3. Trace in Spanish. I really don't like Spanish. No offense, you know, Spanish or anything, but I don't. Since, you know, I speak English all the time, I'm like, when I speak Spanish, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is terrible to learn. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm talking about Spanish, oh my gosh, can't believe it. Alright, well, let's continue the story. See what's gonna happen. Last time we left off, yep, Broccoli was being confronted by Neji and Ten Ten. And now it's time for Naruto and Rockley to battle Neji and Ten Ten. Naruto seems to always get the most fighting done. Neji and Ten Ten are under the influence of Genjutsu. Fight to stop them both. Whoa. Crap. Don't ten ten. Mm. All right, Team Ultimate you two. Boom. Really? One hit left. Alright, just Niji now. Shadow Clone Jutsu! Naruto! Uzumaki Barrage! Alright, yeah. We totally beat them too. Neji, Ten Ten, are you okay? It looks like they're both out cold. Kakashi Sensei, do you think that the jutsu is broken? No, it doesn't look like it is. This is obviously a different jutsu than we encountered before. Well, what do we do? Well, first off, we have to get to Lady Tsunade. If she's not another again, jutsu. I mean, really. The Hidden Leaf Village has been surrounded by a barrier put up by the enemy. And all the ninja left in the village have fallen under the control of the enemy's genjutsu. <clears throat> Those few lucky enough to avoid its spell outside of the village, Naruto included, have assembled in the Hokage's chambers. Let's see what's going down. I can't believe that Kagura is behind all of this. Silence. Is she really all that powerful? She was considered to be the most skilled female ninja after Lady Tsunade. Who? She was particularly skilled in the art of Genjutsu. But the way she dealt with her enemies was extremely cold and cruel in nature. And it looks like she's mastered that forbidden jutsu. Forbidden jutsu? When she left the village, she stole a sealed scroll. It was the forbidden jutsu known as Soul Bane. What kind of jutsu is that? It creates an illusion in the victim's mind, causing them to see friend as foe. Friends and allies will turn against each other until there is no one left. Then why did she set up that barrier? That's a necessary step for the full jutsu, and it afflicts everyone at once. She's not getting away with this, I'll see to that. This has happened once already in a town discovered by the Ambu. The place was in ruins. Lady Tsunade sent us back in to investigate. There were signs of barriers and everyone had turned on each other. She used those people as test subjects before attacking the Hidden Leaf. Everyone who was in the village when the barrier was formed was affected. 
Why well, wasn't Grandma Sonati affected by it? I felt that something was strange when I heard the, uh, the Ambu's report. So I did my homework and set up a reflective barrier around this room. Nice. That's impressive, Lady Tsunade. So, Prevy Sage, is there any way to break this jutsu? Well, we start by defeating the enemies prote protecting the four barriers. The problem, however, comes after that. The jutsu won't be completely broken until we defeat Kagura, will it? That's exactly right. Oh, man. I'm also worried about that man who was with Kagura. Come on, Pervy Sage, why are you so scared? Who cares if she's some highfalutin ninja? Let's go get her. <laughs> highfalutin. You may be right. Time is of the essence. Who they are doesn't matter. We have to act quickly. Lady Tsunade, allow the Anbu to determine Kagura's current whereabouts. See to it then. Everyone else, defeat the enemies to take down the barriers. Remember, Kagura's Genjutsu is powerful enough to affect even Joni Ninja. Don't let your guard down. Yeah, Naruto. Woo. <laughs> After a long and arduous search, Naruto and company finally find the first barrier. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was there the group ran into Mike Guy, even more energetic and excited than usual. Guy, come on. Supposed to be on our side. Ah, you finally arrived. How dare you keep me waiting. Guy Sensei, what are you saying? It looks like Guy has fallen victim to the Genjutsu as well. That is impossible. How could someone as strong as Guy Sensei fall to such a Jutsu? Lee, we have to defeat Guy. There's no other choice. But he is my teacher. How can I stand against him? Oh, come on. What are you mumbling about over there? Come fight the handsome devil of the Hidden Leaf Village, my guy. Guy Sensei, you really do not know who I am? I have no acquaintances among my enemies. Bring it, baby. Haha, <laughs> guy. I cannot believe that Guy Sensei has forgotten who I am. Lee, we have to fight him. Don't worry, I'll fight with you. Again, he won't be able to break the barrier alone. I hate to ask this, but I'm going to need you all to hold off Guy while I head for the barrier. Got it. I'm counting on you. I guess we have no choice. Well then, Guy Sensei, let the real fight begin. So three against one. It's a little unfair. Even if it is, Guy. Three against one is, you know, three against one. Guy is under the influence of Genjutsu's. Genjutsu's. <laughs> Genjutsu's. Genjutsu. Not Genjutsu's. Genjutsu. Stop him with Lee's primary lotus. Alright, guy. It's time to meet your end. Or not. Yeah, Naruto! Crap, none of these attacks are doing much. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh man. I cannot seem to defeat Guy. Oh man. I failed that. Oh man. Alright, let's try this again, guys.
Yes. There we go. Oh, do I have to defeat him with it? I don't understand. I guess I have to defeat him with it. Oh man, it's just me and Guy. Come on. I can't fight him by myself. My gosh. Let's try this again. I'm doing awful. I gotta defeat him. Take him out, guys. Let's do this. Oh, really? Come on. How am I supposed to defeat him if it... Alright, let's try this again, guys. Let's hope this is the last time. Guys, I'm doing awful. The heck? Sakura, this is all us. Let's 
hope this works. Yes! Guys, I finally beat him! Yes! Finally. <laughs> I like how Lee's eyes flick with a little bit of flame. Just, like, instantly. Guys, Sensei, are you okay? It's no use. The Genjutsu is not broken, just like with Neji and Tintin. <laughs> if we wake him, he'll probably just attack us again. We'll have to tie him up for now, so we can't move. Guys, Sensei, please forgive me. <laughs> Lee, Lee, get a hold of yourself. There's no time for tears now. We have to meet up with Kakashi Sensei as soon as possible. Sakura and I are gonna go on ahead, Lee. Take care of Guy Sensei. I will. I will not leave his side for even a second. Naruto, Sakura, go get those villains for me. Where's Kakashi? Kakashi leaves my guy in the capable hands of Naruto and the others. While he goes on alone in search of the enemy. But, will he be able to break the first barrier? Well, this guy looks pretty weak. My, my. my, my. This is quite a barrier we have here. You're Kakashi, the copycat ninja. Oh, you've heard of me. It's an honor. No, I don't even have to introduce myself. By the way, you can skip the introduction as well. What, what do you mean? You'll be unconscious before you even get the chance to finish. What? What? I'm a former Jonin, you know. You better not underestimate me. You don't say. Well, Mr. Former Jonin, this is your last chance. You can either take down the barrier, or you can fight your last battle against me. It's your choice. I'm not taking down this barrier for anyone. And this battle will be your last, not mine, you hear me? Oh well, we can go through the motions, I guess. <laughs> Kakashi. Oh dear. <laughs> Priceless. Defeat the enemy ninja protecting the barrier and then take it down. This shouldn't be too hard. Wow, that wasn't hard at all. That was actually really a piece of cake. No! What a waste. With your skill, you could have done a lot of things with your life. I can't. The barrier. The barrier is breaking. Well, that's it for the first barrier. But three still remain. What a mess. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Jiraiya finds the second barrier. However, upon his approach, he is confronted by a mysterious figure. What is the true purpose behind his plans to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village? Let's find out. Who are you? You don't strike me as the kind of guy who'd be working for Kagura. You're pretty sharp, old man. You're right. I'm only using her to get what I want. What do you have against the Hidden Leaf Village? Oh, nothing at all, actually. My business is weapons village falls, the five great nations will fall out of balance. When that happens, conflict deep enough to rival the great ninja war will ensue. Catch my drift? An arms dealer, setting war in motion from the shadows, eh? You must be... Bondo. <laughs> a name known by all who traverse the black market, I'm proud to say. I see. I've heard the rumors. I have to give you credit for being able to manipulate Kagura. Ha, huh, that's nothing. As soon as I presented a plan to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village, she leapt at the chance. The plan was to create a larger demand for weapons, by upsetting the balance of peace amongst the nations. Pretty sharp for an old man. What do you say? Why don't you join me? We can get rich together. Sorry, I'm no old man. And that aside, lowlifes like you make me sick. <laughs> hey, if you're in such a rush to die, that's your choice. I'm just happy to grant you your wish. <laughs> Jiraiya. Bondo. Hmm. 
Interesting name. Defeat Bondo the Arms Dealer. Alright guys, that's where I'm going to end it for this episode. I was going to say for today, but really, I have no idea what today is. So, Well, that's going to be it. We will continue this story and hopefully finish it pretty soon because it actually seems pretty short. On the next episode or somewhere short after that. Thanks for watching. See ya.